Hello and welcome to this Contabile walkthrough. Today I'm going to be talking about routing diagrams, which are a way to more graphically set up the objects in a song or a rack and the connections between those objects. Routing is an important concept in Contabile and describes the way objects in a song or a rack are connected to each other. And traditionally it's been set up using this table view under the routing tab where you can load objects and uh, set up routes to connect them together. Now while this view provides a lot of detail, it's not great for visualizing how those objects connect to each other and relate to one another. So the latest builds introduce this new routing diagram concept, which can be selected up here. You'll notice this new switch lets you switch between the table view and a routing diagram view. Okay, so we'll start by adding a plugin to this just so we can get an idea what's going on. So I'm just gonna load a simple plugin here. And you'll see now we've got three main areas. On the left here, we've got the input ports area, which represents all the MIDI and audio inputs to this, in this case, song. And we've got the outputs, which represents, again, all the MIDI and audio outputs from available to this song. The options available here are directly configurable via options, audio ports and MIDI ports. Okay, so these are the environment level ports that are available to songs and racks. Okay, you'll see Contabolo has automatically created a route here between the main keyboard, the plugin, and the stereo out of this plugin, and the main speakers. So I can now play that instrument, like so. I'll show you how to edit these routes in a second. For the moment, let's just have a look at what happens when you select an object. You can see down here this properties bar which shows you the settings for the selected object. So the input ports settings, the output port settings, and in this case, the plugin settings. And from here, I can do things like change the preset, gain settings, etc. All the settings that are available in the table view. In fact, you can see that this very closely represents the same thing as available here. Okay, and you'll see also that the object that I added in that other view has now been added in here along with its associated routes. Okay, let's just for the sake of example add another plugin in here. I'm just going to add in some sort of audio effect. You can see here this plugin has a few more inputs and outputs than this instrument. And you can see again Contabolo has created this automatic route to the output. Now for editing routes all you need to do is select the route and you'll see each has a handle on each end. You can simply grab that. So I'm going to feed the stereo out from this plugin to this one. And you see this route's now routed around here. I can reposition these objects so they're more visually pleasing the way they're laid out. And you can see now we've got main keyboard going to this instrument plugin, which is being fed to an effect and then to the main speakers. Okay, and again, I can adjust the settings for each one by selecting the appropriate object. Okay, you can also add routes by simply dragging from a port to another port. So say for instance, we wanted the on-screen keyboard to also go to here. I can just add in a route like so. I should say I'm using the on-screen keyboard here. Um, I've got it mapped to both the main keyboard and the on-screen keyboard. That's why this was working as the on-screen keyboard through here. Okay, so adding routes is as simple as that. You can do it either way. So I could also drag from, for instance, here back to the on-screen keyboard and that will add a route there. And then the other thing you'll notice is sometimes you'll get these routes not really directed the way you want. So you can reshape them a bit using this smaller handle here. So I can move this across to here and I can get a more visually pleasing layout. Okay. I showed before this add button here. You can use this to add new new plugins. Contabile likes to align these things on this sort of grid that you can see here, but you don't have to. You can position these objects wherever you want. And if you hold the shift key on while you drag these around, you'll see that they don't snap to the grid anymore. So you can lay these out pretty much exactly as you want. Um, you can often get into a mess like this especially if you've added objects through the table view and Contabile doesn't really have a concept of where you want them in the diagram. So what you can do is you can right click and choose auto arrange or just press the A key and that will automatically arrange all the plugins in what Contabile hopes to be will be a good layout for you. 
Okay. The other thing you'll notice is these ports here uh, can make the diagram uh, look more complicated than it needs to be. Often you'll know that a plugin only has MIDI inputs or audio outputs, for example. So by pressing the tab key or by choosing expand ports here, you can collapse these diagrams down to make them more simple to view. And that'll give you a good overview of how your um, song or rack has been arranged. Just a few more things here. You can, you can resize these areas here if you need to. You can also reorder and reposition these ports by grabbing the little grippers on here. So you can, you can lay these things out to be uh, visually pleasing and easy to interpret for yourself. Okay, um, the, the routing diagram can be zoomed. You can use control plus mouse wheel to zoom in and out. You can also use control and page up and page down keys uh, to zoom in and out. Usually you use that to zoom out to get an overview for a song and then zoom in to edit something specific. Scrolling, it can be done obviously with the, um, with the scroll bars. The mouse wheel will also work. If you're using a trackpad that has horizontal um, mouse wheel, that works both ways. Or if you're using a mouse and want to just scroll a little, you can use shift plus click to pan around like so. Okay, control one, or there's a uh, view zoom 100% option here, which will set you back to the um, default zoom level. Okay, the final thing I want to show is um, most people have a preferred uh, view that they like to use. Um, some people much prefer the graphical view while others are happy with the table view and the detail it provides. So there's an option in tools, options, general, preferred routing view, and you can choose either table or diagram. And this will uh, affect new songs and new racks or songs and racks that have been saved in older versions of Cantabile before the routing diagrams were introduced. They'll take on whatever view here. Once you save a rack or a song, um, it saves which view you had it in and it will come back to that view. So that option doesn't apply once you've saved. Okay, that's routing diagrams in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.